Hello, welcome to Green New World. My name is John Salupas. I'm Alexios Salupas. Yes, we are brothers. Desert <laughs> jungle. <laughs> we know we look a lot alike. So much alike. <laughs> he has all the hair. I have no hair. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. <laughs> Perfectly balanced, as, as all, all things, things should be. be. Behind the mic, running the, the camera and all the sound and all the sick mixes that will be going on behind us. Slim Tuniger. What's he's up, a, my people? He's a good mate of mine from uh, the Academy days. <laughs> the yeah, academy. prof. Y'all trained together. Training <laughs> on the pitch. Oh, yeah, we did. Speaking of training, yeah. before we jump into the tech, yeah. why, why are you wearing a city jersey? Oh, you know who sat out of training? Who? Lionel Messi. Because he's trying to get out of his contract. Because he's trying to come to Manchester City. So this is important. Alexios told me before the show, he's like, dude, I got to wear my city jersey now. Because if I don't, people will think I'm a massive bandwagon in 24 hours when he signs with City. And I'm That's not. That's what the rumors are saying. I'm not. Look who's on the back of this jersey. Samir Nasseri. Hey, didn't he get in a scandal? <laughs> kind of got canceled before got getting canceled. canceled was a thing. His girlfriend tweeted or messaged at the... French national team about him not being on the team. He got dropped from the team and he kind of got dropped from like his career. I don't know. Oh, so she ruined his career? Yeah, she kind of ruined his career. City fanboy. Aguero! <laughs> Aguero! I have been a City fan. He just loves the fact that they have all this money. We've been there. We've seen that money. Dude, we have seen that money in action. It's a lot. Shout out Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week 2020. That's why we, we went, saw it. We went to the United Arab Emirates. Freaking They were event, highlighting dude. all of the... It was like a giant trade show, like 30,000 people, 170 countries. Yeah. What was your... My favorite your, thing? Yeah, your favorite thing. How'd you know what I was going to ask? I had a feeling, man. I, that's hard to decide. I need to know... We saw some amazing your, things. Your like, favorite things you saw. Okay, can I I'll can I do a top a, three? I'm going to do a top three. I'll let, yeah, top three. Let's go. In no particular order. Sure, absolutely. Okay, it's hard to decide. <sighs> top three favorite things. Top three favorite things. No nope, particular no order. order. I, what, what I what was can't it? do an order. Customizable Italian solar panels. Oh, those were beautiful. So <laughs> cool, dude. The, there's an Italian stadium, Sampdoria. They're putting Fabio Quagriella on the outside of the stadium in solar panels. It's like a giant mosaic also powering the powering stadium. the stadium. I remember we found them on the, on the third day on that Wednesday. It was a four-day conference. Yeah. And we were there going around, pulled up on this Italian solar panel company. Who can we, beautiful, man. Who can we talk to about this? So we walk up to the front. Yeah. And there was uh, Madele Madalena. 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 <laughs> and we were like, hey, like this is really cool. Can we meet somebody that will do like sales? How can we get this in America? Yeah. How can we, how can we sell this here? We want to be a part of this. And uh, she was like, oh, you need to talk to Marco. Okay, where's Marco? <laughs> He's outside <laughs> smoking <laughs> a cigarette. <laughs> My second favorite thing? Yeah, your second favorite top. Water from the air brought to you by Prism. Oh, that, that was nuts. That was so cool, dude. That was so, we got, we got a good clip here. Drinking water from thin air. Wow. Can I try some? Yeah, sure. So you can taste it. Have a taste. All right. Yeah. That's water. Yeah. That's good, <laughs> clean water. <laughs> That's the future, man. That's the future. Yeah, that's some, water. That's, that's some it. Jedi stuff, pulling it from the <laughs> air. Yes. <laughs> Seriously, like, good, clean water. Like, pure, but not pure. It had minerals in it. They had a way of injecting minerals in the water, which we need. We're 70% water as human beings. We need it. This technology is not new technology, but we are working on making it better, which they I would go and put the like, out of. They would go put those 70,000 liter tanks out in the desert. Not only were they pulling water from the atmosphere, it was powered by solar panels. You could attach solar panels to it. So it was almost like a closed loop where you would have your solar panel, harvesting energy from the sun, powering your unit, and then that's pulling the humidity from the atmosphere in, and then you have mineralized drinking water. That's like one of the big lies of the uh, advertisement world. It's just it's pure water is like better it's water. Better. It's not. No. No. 95% of people put, have fluoride in the water. It's not like they... Oh yeah. Make the effort to take You need it to open up the third eye. Decalcify, Decalcify your brain! brain! What does your pineal gland do, Solana? It's the least studied part of the human brain. Really? Why? Because it's a mystery. It's the access to the third eye opening. That, it, that is what your third eye is, your third according eye. to philosophies. <laughs> My third favorite Your thing? third favorite topic. Dude, I'm not going to lie. We saw some amazing things. Like, super, super. Don't cool. say it's the lights. No, it's not the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Don't These tell me the lights. <laughs> 
<laughs> the street lights you were obsessed with. Dude, the street lights were cool though. They okay, were cool. The st- they were cool. They were cool, but not like world saving, groundbreaking. Like what I think this next idea. Okay, is. what is it? AI waste management cleanup system. AI scanners monitor the streets and they're like beep 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 trash. Know when to pick it up, where to pick it up. They have it coordinated, locked on, and it's just like, well, I'm gonna pick up <laughs> trash. Dude, I think that's a really underrated topic. People don't think about. That's it's one of the biggest trash things we just have goes. to do. We have to clean yeah. up our mess. The guy giving the pitch was locked in. He took us seriously. We were 20 he years old and we just serious. shoved a camera in his <laughs> face. <laughs> and we were like, hey, hey, let me, hey, 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 hey let me record you. Will you talk to us about hey. this waste management? <laughs> hey. That's a part of it. That he would definitely be us. a piece of it. Is like where, not even where, like how. How what? We pick up the trash, dude. We consume and then you throw it away and you think it's gone out of my mind. Out of out of sight, out of I, mind. I'm not yeah. even thinking about they're it. Not, not even, my problem. We're not worried about it anymore. But of course it's your problem. What about how much plastic's in the ocean? Dude, that's too much. I can go and There was that, that kid, all right, Boyan Slot, that started doing the uh, ocean cleanup. Good for him. We should try to get him on the show. Boyan. Boyan. What's up? Boyan. Eight, every year, 8 million metric tons of plastics enter our ocean on top of an estimated 150 million metric tons. Waste is going to be an underrated yeah, part dude, of all I this. Yeah, dude, I really feel like it's... it's it's as much as what we buy as it is how we dispose. Recycling centers have to get better at accepting all plastics or producers have to get better at creating plastic under the same regulation. I told you my three favorite companies that we saw. What was I, what was your overall favorite thing that we did in the UAE? Because we did a lot of we cool shit. We did a lot shit. of cool shit like this. What's up, y'all? What's up? You are in Dubai, y'all? <laughs> So you tell me, what was your top experience that we had? I think uh, outside Sustainability Week, top experience would be going to Dubai, Sustainable City. Oh, bro, that place was so sick. It was like a little utopia. Yeah, yeah it was creepy, but also like thrilling because it's the future. Just My, randomly found it too. We just pulled up on it. And uh, so the idea was there were these big time architects and designers and they created this like perfect utopia. Perfect of, utopia of sustainability, man. The, everything right. was built there with a absolute conscious there was no waste like it actually is it's net zero on waste for starters the architecture of the buildings fantastic the homes were built so that the sun didn't hit them at all times right so like if you picture the sun and like it's going over the horizon hashtag round earth (laughs) the flat earther is out there if you're watching this the earth is round But the idea was there's no windows on the sides. So that yeah. way it's going to naturally cool. You're going to save a ton of money. Less AC. All the rooftops, solar panels powering the houses. So smart. I'm like, why not? You're in the middle of the desert. It makes perfect sense. The wastewater was recycled. Biodome that grew the produce that was yeah. sold in the local grocery. So many Teslas and electric cars. Pull Just up. Charging. Charge it. Walk into your house. It was this whole little utopia of a society the car park the awnings that shielded your car from the sun also drew power from the sun because they had solar panels on top smart so everything was built with sustainable it was, it was, there was a conscious it was one of the coolest places that we just absolutely stumbled upon we, so hopefully we'll be back 2021 2021 we're coming so, for you mazdar city we didn't hit mazdar we didn't city. hit mazdar we will have i Maz- wish we hit mazdar we'll hit city mazdar. that would be so cool because it'll be new it'll be new it'll we'll be get new. to experience something new fresh we were just too Kids with a dream. Yeah, a dream. Let's make a point that this was January 2020. Everyone was like, World War III. We went there. (laughs) We said no to the war, and we said yes to the peace and sustainability. Whenever people think of the Middle East, they think oil money. And like we were joking earlier, like Man City oil money. But like they know it's finite. They have they have They know that. But I think they kept talking about the 2050 vision of where they're trying to advance their society, their people, and their country. I really respect that. I mean, they have a plan. That's more than you could say here. Like, we don't have a four-day plan. No. it's We probably could have made it to the end of the week. We've been making it up as we go along. But, like, they're, they're like, we have a 2050 vision of where we want to put this country. And I think that's why they're investing in these, like, sustainable technologies and industries. They've got so much money. But it's like, what are they doing with it where they're reinvesting it to set them up for this fourth industrial revolution, 5G future, decarbonization, sustainable 
society. They're just setting they're, themselves up, except the future that is undeniably coming for us. The future of sustainability. Well, we have to. The future of going green. We, like, have, we have to. to. We have we to have start. To, we have to start. You that. gotta react, redact, <laughs> and readapt. <laughs> Michael Scott School of Business. Act, Act react, react, readapt, apt. <laughs> So they react. They are. They're being positive and and uh, they're thinking about where they if, want. If I may be as so bold as to say, progressive. <laughs> Start of 2020, we're like, this is going to be the beginning of a new decade. We're going to start on a positive foot. I just graduated college. I just dropped out. Yeah, so we were like, this is it. We're going all in. Let's see what happens. Let's see what's going on. And I think really the lesson we learned was right now, like those innovations and stuff, that technology, it's going to be expensive at first. But that's the point is over time, as you make more and people start wanting more, you can scale it up. I love scale. <laughs> Scaling should be done around the world. I think scaling is the future. All of us should have an idea and we should follow that idea and see how we could scale that idea. Make sure it's a good idea. Every, it's it's got to be a good idea. I mean, it's got to be. Or like, we should be working with people that have good ideas to scale them because the future is now guys a vision is required for us to move forward when you have all this wealth where are you investing these ideas and like what kind of companies are going to merge and we got a great episode lined up next week with one of the great companies of today that are leading us towards a better tomorrow tesla tesla, tesla special a tesla special we got a tesla and we, we got, drove it around birmingham we got to drive a tesla so we have a film we've been working on yeah so make sure you uh subscribe turn on that notification dinger so that you can see <laughs> when our Tesla video comes out. Like, comment, share it with your friends. Let them know about Green New World. Let them know the future is coming. And we're going to show it to you. Everyone subscribe to this. I, I, I support this. <laughs>